I'm Derek Stallone, and on behalf of Hidden Diamond Sports, welcome back to day two of coverage of the 2015 Team USA Men's Basketball Mini Camp here in Las Vegas. We had the opportunity to sit down with New York Knicks superstar Carmelo Anthony, who was also one of two players in attendance who have participated in the 2004, 2008, and 2012 Olympic Games. Check out the interview now. All right, Derek Sloan, glad to be alongside New York Knicks star Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo, how are you feeling today, man? I feel good, man. I had a great day at work. You know, we had some, some hell of a workouts over there today. Anytime you get that group of guys of that caliber to, to get on one court and, and push each other, it's always been great days. Yeah, and I mean, we talked about this a little bit off the camera, but I mean, you are one of two players here that participated in 2004, yeah. 2008, and 2012 Olympics. You know, with that being said, how has being a member of Team USA throughout your career improved your own personal game? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it, it pushes me. It, it, it makes me more competitive. It keeps my competitive edge sharp. Uh, you know, every time we, we play in, in these Olympic games, uh, you know, we, we push each other. We try to make each other better. Because, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times, this is the only time where we get a chance to work out with one another and have all the great guys on one court at the same time. And I mean, even prior to the NBA, you started collegiately at Syracuse, bringing a national championship in your lone year as a member of the Orange under Coach Jim Beheim. Jim Beheim is also one of the lead coaches here. Does it make that experience that much more memorable? It always. I mean, he always brings the memories back every time I see him. I mean, without him even saying anything, the memories come back, the memories start flowing. And it's always good to have him back. So. Just a few more questions for you know going up back a little bit growing up in Baltimore how did that mold you into the person and player you are today well I just you know I had to I had to survive man. and I had to figure out things on my own I had to learn how to you know get through each day and I never look forward to anything it was just you know trying to get through that day so. I mean, absolutely man and the basketball side of things 2015-16 seasons quickly approaching the uh, development of the Knicks is, is uh yeah. you just keep moving forth what's your expectations I had none right now I mean it's we still in August you know, we, we have a long way to go. Uh, so, no, no, I don't put any expectations on it, on it right now. And it's still summertime, it's August. And so, it's kind of hard to get into that mindset right now. I mean, this is what I got to ask you outside of the basketball world. You're also an entrepreneur, have a deep passion for technology. I thought that was very uh, fascinating. How have your experiences as an entrepreneur outside of the basketball world, what have those been like for you? It's been great. I mean, we, we've been having some great success with some of the companies that, you know, that we invested in and some of the companies that we're involved with. And we're just trying to bring that, you know, to the to the game, you know, whether it's sports, whether it's just lifestyle. Absolutely, man. Well, Derek Sloan, Carmelo Anthony, Thank I appreciate you. your time. Best of luck.